are logarithms do they work uh apparently it is because my subscribe subscriber rate is um increasing and it's probably due to all the likes that i'm getting and the comments that i'm getting and thank you so much for doing that uh, or it's from the other video which was about the doggy in car park um so the accumulation of, the, of two has definitely caused a peak in the subscriber rate yeah uh, they're gonna be so disappointed when they see that the rest of my videos are not going to be about you know that kind of thing going on <laughs> also like to add this recent trip to Wales it's completely messed up isn't it because I've not been put in the title day one day two da 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 I haven't so I don't know how I'm gonna get my head around it maybe put a link to those videos at the end of that one I don't know it's a complete total mess uh, morning morning it's actually nine o'clock had a bit of a lion didn't I um, sound of the sea it got quite windy and the sea was was going that full pelt and because i'm parked up quite close i was thinking shit i just hope i hope the ropes don't come up and take um fair away uh and around about three o'clock last night a car had pulled up put the headlights on and i could hear bang 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 like you know somebody's opening and shutting the door like every 20 minutes so I woke up and I looked out at my top windows and uh, the tide had gone out and there was, it looked like two people were out as the tide was out with head torches. Now, I think this area is quite famous for uh, razor clam fishing. So they're either using an electrical equipment to produce this booming noise so that the clams reach the surface and they can pick them up. And the car that with the headlights was just shining the lights so they could see them. But yeah, it, was, it, it went on for a good two hours. To every every 20 minutes, boom. And but, but at least it didn't disturb me, except for the noise, obviously. So yeah, I've had a bit of a line. I'm going to get out and get my coffee and, and have a look what's going on outside. Again, it's not freezing getting out. It's probably about seven or eight centigrade in the van i really need to get a thermometer inside it so i can really gauge it so it's not too bad having to leave yourself out of bed to put the kettle on at the moment again it's only october so we've got a good few more months and then it will keep freezing i need to like sort out my uh, propex heater get carry a few more spare bottles and put a carbon monoxide monitor in my van that works because the one that i've got i just it's too old and i can't even change the batteries in it so yeah i really need to do that blimey it's nearly 10 o'clock and i haven't got much done i'm on my second cup of coffee and i think for breakfast i'm gonna have one of those chocolate hazelnut thingies they're actually pretty good it's howling out there um, what am I going to have to do? Get changed, brush my teeth. I also am running very low on my water, so I need to find a water point somewhere to fill, her, uh, fill the bottle up. And then go for a walk along the beach before I set off to wherever I'm going to head. Good God, it takes me quite a while to get myself together. Well, it doesn't really, but it's about 10.30 now and I'm going to go and go to the bins, empty it and then go for a walk along the beach. Right, so I've come for a walk and it's up this little lane over here. The beach is over there, there's parked up over there somewhere. So my morning four mile walk, love it. Obviously I've got my music in my ears <sighs> just to um, zone out a bit. Oh, come across a lovely church but this has been here for many 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 years oh I must read what it says but this is actually a quite little um, quite a good little walk to do because you're not walking on sand so it's less stressful for my legs because they're a bit sore after yesterday shit 
the steps to have climbed. I've only done maybe 10. <laughs> oh God, mountain climbing I need to get back into again because I need to get fit. This is no good. Oh God, just going up those stairs. It's like endless. But there is several directions I can take from here. Uh, if I go further up there, it goes back to Oxwich. If I go that way, it goes to some point. So I think I'm going to carry on that away. Let me get my breath back. Ah, oh, there's stairs going all the way down. Uh, so I've just done all those coasters over there and going down. And in the back of my head, I'm thinking I've got to come back up them again. So walking along this path, I come across this kind of view. Well, dramatic, windy, just slightly, but it is awesome. I hate using that word awesome. So, I've come over here and I've read the blurb on here and guess what? Adders, which can bite. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I doubt that there'll be any. Oh, God, I hope there isn't any around. But I think I'm only halfway on the walk. But this is turning out to be one hell of a beautiful one to do. Oh, I really love paths like these. You know, easy going with spectacular views. And I, well, just on that side. The tank is over there. I just want to just talk about my boots that I got. They are leather, waterproofed, but boy are they heavy. And I think I'm using extra muscle power to carry these things around. But sturdy. What are they called? What are they? What are they? Uh, I got them from eBay. Waterproof. Da da da. But yeah. Pretty good. I just wanted to take a little video shot of my friendly cow there just staring me out. <laughs> He's rather handsome, or it's a she. And there's another one coming up by. Oh, come on. I have not seen any horses up here. Apparently, there's quite a few wild horses, but not seen none yet. I've got my friendly cows in the background just watching me. Uh, I'm just walking along debating what to do. I mean, I've only got one more night, then I've got to get back to my son, pick him up and take him to court eating. So I'm battling with the idea of whether spending another night where I was, and uh, cause I've got everything there. I've got a pub, I've got toilets, I've got beach walks. I've just done this walk. And then I just got to shoot off tomorrow. So I think I might have to stay another night here. It's, it's a beautiful area, and I've got my little friends in the background. When I go, this, I actually like being on my own. It's my time. I think I've said it loads of times in my videos, and I think people should know me by now. I just like being on my own, walking. Because I am a listener, and I ask loads of questions, if I'm walking with anyone, it... Um, I'm constantly having to listen to their stories. <laughs> Simple as. So I'd rather just go walking. This is my time to recharge because I do all of that anyway at home with my friends and family. So I think if on any of my trips, if I meet people, it's great, it's fantastic. But ultimately, I enjoy my own company. <laughs> As long as I've got music in my ears and I've got animals to look at and I've got sheer scenery around me, I'm, ha I'm a very happy bunny. Come across the castle, Oxwich Castle. Can I get in? I thought this was going to be the gate. Important notice that dogs must be. How the hell do I get in there? It's got to be a way. It looks like people have probably gone underneath the barbed wire and walked across there. Should I give it a go? 
I did it. My rucksack off to do it. But yeah, I'm gonna walk and hopefully get to the castle. I didn't get very far. The path only comes up to here and it's all shrub. I'm gonna have to get my hat. Here we go. <sighs> Here's the entrance, but it's closed on a Monday, Tuesday, and it is Tuesday. So, yeah, you can come along any other day, but other than a Monday or a Tuesday. Whew, it's, be, it's very windy. So, I've decided I'm going to spend another night here, only because I just don't fancy driving, and it's about 1.30. 1, 1, so it's going to start to get dark. I'm in the perfect location to be honest. I've got I got the beach. I still want to do the walk on the sand, and I've got a pub here. I've got toilets, so I'm happy. So lovely Vandy provided me some lunch from yesterday. So I've got prawns, some lovely salad which I haven't eaten much of lately. Oh, so I'm so look forward to diving into that and a bit of bread for lunch. Oh, this is so relaxing. Sat back in my van. Music on. Got my lunch all ready to eat. Uh, happy days for a bit and then I might just go for a little wander again. Because it's so windy and I parked up with my back end facing the sandy beach, I'm worried about the sand going up the exhaust pipe. So I'm wondering whether I should cover that hole up. So I've got this lovely sari which I brought along with me and I'm thinking of staple gunning that to my roof while I'm parked up. Why not, eh? Damn, I was getting too, too happy and I've run out of staples. And I'm halfway through. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I thought I had about 200 staples. I swear I didn't put 200 up on there. So now figuring out a way how to put these foil insulators up because these suckers don't stick to the window. So I thought I'm going to use some Velcro. So windy out there, the sand is blowing, but I really want to get out and do a walk before it gets too dark. I like these sort of early evening walks um, because I don't know, I just do. Put my hat on. Oh my god. <laughs> it's still there though, it didn't fall off. 